I know, I, I noticed it. I got a big side. All right, so I'm with Daniel Baldwin. And Robin, almost Baldwin. <laughs> are you? Are you? Are you supposed to be, say that? Like, that's kind of like an exclu exclusive. It, it's yeah, right. soon, soon. So Daniel, really quick. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, I decided. Well, congratulations when it all goes through. So, um, this film you directed, talk, talk to me about that. It's called The Wisdom to Know the Difference. It's uh, uh, it's about a man who um, uh, kidnapped heroin addicts and brought them up to a remote cabin against their will. He drugged them, they woke up in the cabin, and he got them to help get them sober. Where did you come up with the story for that? I knew a guy who did it. Yeah, it's loosely based on a guy I knew. Wow. Yeah. So when can we expect this film to be out? Well, AMC has it now. They're deciding what they want to do with it. Um, uh, and, of course, it'll end up going, I'm sure, to DVD and Netflix and the usual thing. But we're going to wait and see if it gets a little run in the theaters first. So was that your debut directing that your, your first time? No, no, no. I've directed before. What, what else have you directed? I directed Fall, which was a movie I shot it with Michael Madsen and Chad McQueen, Steve McQueen's son. I directed a movie called The Tunnel. Um, so this is my third time. So are you kind of stepping back from being in front of the camera and enjoying yourself behind it? Um, I find it much more challenging to direct a film. I liken it to a, a, acting in a film is like being married. Directing a film is like having children. You know, There's a lot more responsibility, a lot more stuff to do. And I'm always so busy in my head. Um, it was getting boring doing the acting, so I like doing the directing. Yeah. So are you going to be doing something with all of your brothers? You guys are all going to team up and do something sooner or later? Well, you know, the question came when there was a script that we're talking about just a couple of years ago. Who would we get to direct it? And, of course, I raised my hand and went, well, I can still beat the crap out of all of them. I go, so the only chance you really have of it getting done would be if I directed the movie. Right, right. Oh, you're becoming a, that's good. Especially with your brothers, you're becoming the power player. You got it. All right. So uh, one more thing. What does this mean to you, this type of an event? I know you did the film. And... Um, uh, was it was it you that was on uh, Celebrity Rehab? Yes. I, I worked on that show. Did you? And you would know because Irwin Entertainment, I was back in post-production. Oh, I see. But I worked on that show. And I remember that you somewhat became the father of the house. Yeah, I did. I left after a week because it, it really wasn't like a rehab, you know. I mean, when Drew was there, it was different. But when he left, it was just left to the producers on the show. It was terrible. Yeah. It became more of a TV for jokes. Right. It was a zoo. Yeah, yeah, and and I remember that because I was back in the office. Watching. Well, look, two of the people on the show I was on are dead. Really? Conway's dead. He died, and uh, one of the girls died. I heard. Oh my gosh! Yeah. And, I, and I remember. Um, what's his name from the rock band that was up on the house? Seth. Yeah. yeah. And you know, it was it was it was an interesting show, but I remember you really went in there putting your foot down and tried to help other people. And and at, at the time you were somewhat like reserved with your own issues, but you just felt like I remember watching and you were just like, This isn't for me. Well, you know not that rehab wasn't for you. No, but, but, but yeah. when, when when the clinicians would go away and girls are swimming around in, in, in with their tops off and, and, and hot tubs and stuff, that's not a rehab, that would never happen, you know. So that sells great tickets for television for sure. You know. Well now you don't have to worry but about I have that. A hot tub. Now you don't have to worry about that. All right, well thank you so much, Daniel. It was nice talking to you. Now let me know one more thing. How can we all get a hold of you and how can we find the film? Um, well, it's with AMC right now. We're going to see what they want to do theater-wise, and then it'll go to DVD. And your Twitter handles and all that good stuff? At Daniel Baldwin. All right. Thank you so much. All right. See you. Thank you.